An icy goodbye to the Red Wings longtime Zamboni driver after getting caught urinating in a drain at LCA. Coming up, now he's fighting back. Working for you. Fox 2 News at 6 starts now. He spent more than five decades working for the Red Wings before he was suddenly fired in February. El Sabatka has always been adored by fans, but tonight we're learning more about why he got the axe. Fox 2's Jessica Dupnak joining us live now with the allegations he's facing. Jessica. Yeah, 51 years Al Sabatka worked for the Red Wings and he did not miss a game. Pretty incredible career. Back in February, he was fired kind of out of nowhere. We are learning today that the reason he was fired is because Sabatka apparently urinated in a drain in a private garage here at LCA. Since that time, he's been trying to get his job back with no luck. Now he's filing suits. No victory lap on the Zamboni, no goodbye cake. Nothing. An ice cold departure after 51 years with the Red Wings. Zamboni driver and the man with the octopus on the ice. 68 year old Al Sabatka fired in February. And Olympia Entertainment up and fires him because. On one occasion, he urinated in a drain in a Zamboni garage. Sabatka's attorney, Deborah Gordon, says a fellow male employee in the garage at LCA caught him urinating and reported him to management. The company will say this is a terminable offense, but I really beg to differ. A week suspension, then Sabatka was fired. Deborah says he wasn't even able to box up his things. This was his first offense in a sterling record. I mean, it was, it was part of the heart and soul of hockey town. Who's been a part of Hockey Town longer than Al? I, nobody that I can think of sitting here. Wednesday, Deborah filed suit against Olympia Entertainment, the owner of LCA. They're claiming age discrimination. Months before he was ousted, bosses made comments about Sabatka, quote, getting old. And Deborah says there is disability discrimination, too. Al definitely has a condition, a prostate condition, that does create urgency to urinate. And, um... He did what was expedient in the moment, thinking no harm was done. She adds Sabatka admitted to the urination situation and told higher ups about his condition after it happened. Before we filed this lawsuit, I called them and asked, is there any chance you could take Al back? He was such a good employee. He really loves you guys. He loves the wings. And the answer was no. And that no prompted the filing of that lawsuit today. Now, we did reach out to the folks here at LCA Olympia Entertainment. We did not hear back in time for this story. Reporting live, downtown Detroit, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Well, Jessica, it does sound like there might be a little bit more behind this, but have we heard from anything from uh, Al Sabatka himself, what he has to say about what happened? We asked his attorney how he was holding up these last couple of months. I guess he's lost a lot of sleep, but he still gets teary eyed talking about it. And he says, if you're going to fire me, at least give me some kind of some some send off, which he was not gotten at all. But obviously still very emotional about this whole situation. And it's far from over with the filing of that lawsuit. Yes, and he will be missed by fans. Jessica, thank you.